Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Tisha and it's so great to have you here. So I'm here, I'm gonna be looking into March the 6th and March the 7th of 2024. Now everything you need to know about me is right down below in our description box and thank you for your love and your support. Now on my channel, I go and find a secret of energy that's hidden and I bring it to light here in this message. I am um, having a sale for personal readings. So if you're interested today only, I'll put my text line down below and text me and we can get this on. Um, the phone okay so let's see what we have going down in this message here happy birthday sign of Pisces I really do hope that you're enjoying your birthday season all right I'm going to pull a couple of cards here and see what we got here in this message for the collective March the 6th March the 7th is 2024 please March the 6th and March the 7th, 2024, please. What's your message, please, for this collective? Here, let's take a look. March the 6th and March the 7th, 2024. Page of Cups. So this could be a younger child. Could be. And if it is a child, could be a water sign, maybe a Cancer, Pisces, a Scorpio. You know, the Page of Cups could be a child for some people here. This also could represent here... Um, some message. Some message is coming. I feel like it's very loving, I feel, for some people here. You know, the Page of Cups could be a loving message, you know. But it is like um, a message that's just, it's at the beginning stage, you know. So something here hasn't really occurred yet. Or maybe somebody doesn't get it yet. Or they haven't seen something yet. Something like that could be the case. I feel like they will soon or something like that. Okay, let's see here. It's a message, all right? Eight of Cups. Yeah, because this one is feeling like in La La Land, something like that. Yeah, see how this one, the fishes is in here? I feel like somebody's like in Dreamy Land or La La Land or I don't know. Maybe it's a child. I mean, maybe it's a it's baby. Could be a baby. Okay, yeah. Eight of Cups. Yeah, because I feel like somebody doesn't really see what's going on or something like that in some way here. I feel like like Dreamy or um, I don't know. Hmm? They're not grounded, or they don't see this yet, or something like that. Whatever it's about. It's like they don't see it, they're walking away from it, or what's not. Is that something they're emotional about because maybe they don't need to be because they're a child or something, okay? What else here? Yeah, it's a child right here. It's a child right here. Teddy bear. Okay, yeah. So I just kind of feel like um, somebody's either thinking back to a child or you have a significant child right here right now that's significant to you. Okay, I feel like you're looking back to your child or this child is looking back to you or something. Like that. This definitely is a child right here. Okay, what else is going on? What's the message here? Okay, let me see here. Five of Pentacles. Maybe you left this child. Hmm. Did you leave this child in the past? Did this child leave you in the past? Eva could be. Okay, Eva could be. This child doesn't have to worry about money because they're a child in some way, right? So I feel like this is not the responsibility of this child. This child is, is free. I'm getting here. They're like, they're like real free in some way here, right? They could be thinking about... um you know, unicorns or something like that, rainbows or something. that's stuff they're thinking about. They're, like, they're not thinking about money or anything like that. They don't even worry about it, Phil, some people here. It's clear they're not worried about it right here, this one. They're not worried about it at all, I feel right here. They're not, okay. <sighs> so, hmm. Is somebody looking back to a child here? Is this child looking back to you? Is this child looking at money? Something like that. Okay. Or some responsibility about money. Something like that. Okay. The death of a Scorpio child. Could be a Scorpio child here. Some people here. Yeah, I'm getting like, it's wishful thinking in some way. Something is going to hit this child, I feel, in some way. Not hit them literally like that. No. Okay. I mean, something here is going to hit this child is though, like, 
maybe they're going to grow up could be the case i don't know because this one right here yeah it could be a young child but then it also could go to adolescent so once we get to adolescent there's like a little bit more things we have responsibility about that we had when it was you know when it was like four and five or eight or nine years old something like that okay So I do see some negotiations right here. It's about a child for some people here, okay? It looks like it's a Scorpio child, okay? Well, this child doesn't know everything that has occurred in some way. With a death card, did some death happen? Could be, you know? So that's one way it could be. Doesn't have to be for everybody here, okay? But some people here, the child doesn't know about the death or something like that. Okay, and others, others right here. This is a Scorpio child I'm getting right here. Okay, so the the um, what is this one? Two of Pentacles. This is negotiation. I feel right here about a child in some way, a Scorpio child. I feel. Here's another thing. Let's say you left a child in the past in some way. You're going to go back and think about that child for somebody right now. You're going to think about them Bill, for some people here. Somebody's thinking about them or somebody's going back to them, something like that, I feel right here. Right? Or they're going to want to come back to you for some people here. You know? So for some of you right here, if you thought right here the child had left forever, they're coming back for some, in some type of way. Whether it's a thought, whether it is in person or a phone call or anything like that. But this child's coming back to the surface in type of way for somebody here, okay? Here are nine of cups. See, you know, kids, look, kids, they make you think about all the ways right here, you know? They make you go into dream states. They make you go back to the fantasy world with the unicorns and things like that. They make you really... They make you believe, you know what I'm saying? That all things really can come true, you know? Unicorns, all things can come true some way. So they're making you think back to that, I feel, for some people here, right? Or you're, you're either you're thinking back to that or you're giving a child a reality check about all things that come true in some way. Maybe they have to ground themselves. And then others right here, this child takes you back now to a child state where it's though something's fun and loving and caring in this world. Something like that, you know? <laughs> okay, let me see what else here. Okay, yeah, nine of swords right here. So this is having anxiety right here, I feel. Okay, all right. For some of you, you're thinking that this child is worried about something, and for some of you, the child is not. So it's not a personal reading here. It's very general. Okay, but this one right here is adult. It's adult right there that's stressing right there. Okay, so for some of you, it's adult. It's not a child for some people here. They're stressing about something here. The child is not, I feel. Over here, I feel like this child is not some people here. Okay, but like I said, it's not personal reading. So for some people, maybe the child is trusting. Could be the case. Okay, but that's not the way I see it right now. Okay. So, you know, it's not personal. It's general. I feel like this child is not even worried about something that somebody else over here is worried about with him. Okay. So I kind of feel I feel like it's really worried of worrying somebody. I feel. You know, some of you as well. Okay. Maybe you do need to check on a child to see if they are worried about something. Could be the case too. Okay. Just check on them and see. Some people here. Right, Knight of Pentacles right here, Three of Wands. See, because I feel like some of you, it's like you're worried about what you're going to say to them, you know, in the future. Something here is going to be coming up soon, so you're worried about it, you know, I feel. Like being realistic or what you have to say or something like that. And that's also right here, right, could be something that you're saying to a child that's grounding them, I get the sense, Okay. So I'm here with like my Scorpio child here. Okay, step right about it, something like that. And it doesn't have to be a Scorpio, but I got a death card and a page of cups. Could be a Scorpio child, certainly could be any child, okay? Yeah, seven of swords right here. Okay, yeah. 
Okay, somebody's worried, okay? Okay. Or somebody could be like, you know what? I wish I didn't even have to have this conversation with a child or I wish I didn't have to something here in some way. Okay, but the focus is a child, definitely. Okay, seven of cups right here and um, six of cups. See, something here that happened in the past is kind of wishful thinking, I feel, in some way. Because we will be going back to it in some way now. So we're going to go back to it and think about it again. Okay, so we'll be going back to thinking about when we was a child, a child that we had or a child we have or something like that. We're going to think about that right now. Right? Eva could be, I did a video um, some months back, and I said, get prepared for the fourth child, okay? So for some of you right here, eight of cups, you could have walked away thinking something was over. That's going to come back right now, a re-ramp right now, something about a child or something. It's going to come back right now. We got eight of swords right here. Yeah. See, something here is wishful thinking, whatever happened in the past, okay, some way. Okay, eight of swords right here. Eight of Swords could be powerless. Um, eight of Swords could be jail. Okay. This here could be something right here that you was telling a child. You was telling a child something in the past. Now, it, now they see or something like that. Yeah. Now this, this even could be, even children have karma. Justice card right here. So maybe something here is karma. I don't know. Could be the case. You know. Eight of swords right here. Justice card. This even could be somebody went to jail. I don't know if they did. They could head. Okay. Because justice and the eight of swords together right here. This could be jail. And with the justice card right here. It could be a legal situation. Okay. So for some people here. A legal situation. For some people here. Okay. This even could be, see, the, see this one right here? If this is a teenage child or whatever, adult child, whatever. For some people right here, you know, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter about age I'm getting right here, you know. If somebody here go off and do things they're not supposed to be doing in some way, you know, it's karma in some way. That could be it for some people here, okay? Right? Or if somebody did something over here when they was a child and they got away with it, it might come back some type of way. I don't know. It could. Some people here, let's tell you the truth, okay? It could, okay? The Queen of Swords right here. Could be a Christ, Libra, Gemini. Okay, the Queen of Swords is speaking. It's the truth right here, okay? Something here could come back to somebody here some way. Could be the case, okay? Yeah, or well, somebody grew up now. Could be the case too. So so now what? Okay, yeah, or well, something like that, okay? <sighs> hmm. Yeah. The past revisits or a child revisits or something like that, the energy comes back in some way, okay? Nine of Cups right here and the Five of Pentacles. Maybe somebody learned a big lesson about drinking or something like drinking in a hotel or whatever. I don't know. It could have been, okay? They're going to learn a lesson about drinking or something like that for some people here, okay? Something like that could be the case with this whistle right here with all these glasses right here. So they could be learning something about that for some people here, some way. Okay. Like a wands right here. Yeah. And it even could be like. Knight of Wands, like something here is like impulsively that's happening in some way. You know? I know this here, like Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb, something like that. Something is about kids right now. It's about kids right here. Some type of way. Mary had a little lamb. Oh, my goodness, you guys. Okay. All right. Mm. Yeah, this is the wish card. Life is good. So something here could be wish fulfillment. And maybe it's going to happen fast for some people here. Could be the case. And there's no way it could be. I'm not like bedtime stories or something. You're not a wise. 
Look at that. Nine, nine, nine. This is the nine right here. This is the nine of wands. And this is the nine of cups. So nines represent endings. Something's ending. It's somewhere here. What's these nines right here for? I'm trying to say here to us right here at the end. Let's see what the nines right here is saying. Okay. The devil card right here, the queen of wands. Something's going to end. Some type of way right here. Could be a Capricorn with a devil card. Right? Could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius with the Queen of Wands. This could be lusting. Could be the case in some way. Could be. The devil and the Queen of Wands. Somebody could be lusting. Could be the case. Maybe somebody's going to end about lusting or somebody. I don't know. Okay. But yeah. Some temptation could be the case too. Here yeah, in some way. Okay, let's see right here. The devil and the um queen of wands. Yeah, something's going in. Ten of swords, yeah. Or somebody's free or they're liberated because this one right here, the chain right there, right, it's not even on there. It's, it's, no, it's not stuck. They're free, for real. So nine, 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 somebody's free, okay? The Virgo's free, the Capricorn. Okay, Aries and Leo, Sagittarius, they're free right now. Or Gemini or somebody. Something like that. Somebody has insight about something. Okay, somebody feel. Seven of Wands right here and three of Swords. Yeah, somebody, something has a challenge right here. Somebody's defensive. Somebody's heartbroken. You know, so. Hmm. Let me see if I can get something over here so I can end this one out here. Okay, but I, you know, because I really, <laughs> yeah, playtime. Okay, so I feel like this once again is children. I feel, I feel like you're playing with the children. Okay, the dolphins know the importance of playing as joy creates miracles and manifestations here. Okay, some of you right here, I feel like you're making a decision. Okay, and it says right here, feeling stuck or indecisive, listen to your intuition right now and make a decision. Okay, so you have to make a decision right here using your intuition about something here, somebody. I feel like an important decision right here is made or something like that, okay? Yeah, it says, ready, set, go, a new day dawns. So, a new day dawns for you, for some people here, okay? Maybe a new day dawns for you and a child. It says, the worst is now behind you, and positive new experiences are on the horizon. And now is the perfect moment to dive in and embrace your heart's desire right here, okay? So, a new day dawns in some way. Okay, you have to dream big about a soulmate relationship or about a decision or children or something like that. Okay, big decisions I'm getting right here. Okay, new romance with a spiritual basis is here for you now. And we have right here, dream big. Let go of small thoughts about yourself and see yourself succeed here. Okay, so I think I'll end it with that. Okay, so I see a big decision right here about many things. Children is one of them, okay? Say you are peace, blessings, love, and light, and namaste to you.